Addiction can be overwhelming and devastating. It is believed that over 20 million Americans over the age of 12 have an addiction, not including tobacco. 100 people die every day from drug overdoses. The challenges seem at times almost insurmountable. The good news, however, is that there is a world of helpful options available for the addict. To quote the well-known addiction authority, Dr. Kevin McCulley, people recover from addiction every day. It requires a great deal of effort to recover from addiction and build a successful life. Ending substance abuse is important, but it's just the first step. This is why recovery is typically called a process rather than an event. There are many challenges the individual will have to overcome to stay on track with their recovery. This is important for the addict as well as the addict's loved ones to understand. Once the addict has established him or herself strongly along the road to sobriety, challenges can be dealt with much more effectively. No one gets to the point where they have no challenges at all. But successfully dealing with challenges can become predictable and rewarding. So, what are some common challenges people face when making their way back from addiction? Denial is a huge challenge to those battling addiction. Many addicts are very intelligent and can easily find ways to justify their addictive behaviors. The addict may seem rational even while they are arguing, lying, and manipulating. They are only using these techniques in an effort to maintain their addictions. Sometimes an addict is so persuasive in their manipulations that a loved one or friend may question their own observations regarding the addict's behaviors. When the addict can admit to their denial and sincerely wish to instigate change, then real progress can be made. Sometimes family, friends, and co-workers enable addicts and their addictive patterns and behaviors. Family members may feel the need to help the addict through hard times or even protect them from harm. Co-workers may defend the addict in an attempt to preserve their own best interest with regards to the addict. Many times family, friends, and co-workers do not understand that their attempt to assist or tolerate an addict is not in the addict's best interest. Enabling an addict's bad behavior can only undermine his or her progress when dealing with the challenges of addiction. It is common for an addict to feel depressed or anxious when coming off of the addictive effects of drugs and alcohol. At this early stage in recovery, when the addict feels that the use of drugs and alcohol is no longer a viable option, feelings of loneliness, sadness, anxiety, and depression may be experienced. This is normal and to be expected at this early stage of recovery. As coping skills are learned and used, over time, the recovering addict will successfully be able to manage these feelings. Families and friends need to understand that going through the challenges of depression and anxiety are part of the early stage healing process. Boredom can present some big challenges. During the days of addiction, the addict could use drugs and alcohol to fill the boredom space in their life. Now the use of drugs and alcohol have stopped. What do you do to fill the time? If healthy ways to fill this time gap are not found, the result can easily lead to boredom and relapse. Knowing this, a plan can be put into place to make certain that this challenging boredom problem can be successfully dealt with. Suggested activities for overcoming boredom may include taking interesting classes, exercising, pursuing hobbies, adding a part-time job, or any number of activities a recovering addict feels will enhance their recovery. It may be very challenging and difficult to stay clean and away from alcohol and drugs. However, sobriety is achieved all the time. Allowing the brain the time it will take to heal is critical in finding sobriety. Noting the progress made and the challenges successfully faced add conviction to achieving the milestones necessary for true recovery. It's not enough to simply admit that there are challenges. Our time to show that we are up for the challenge is now. Making the commitment to face the challenges necessary to gain a happier and healthier life 
is our ultimate challenge. You can't overcome your challenges until you face your challenges. For more information, contact the Institute for Addiction Study. The link is in the description.